Hello everybody, welcome into this new video. Let's take a look how we can implement Metioni into our graphic designer uh, workflow. Now, um, I am a, just a basic graphic designer. I work into Photoshop, I work into Premiere Pro, I've worked into a lot of tools. Lately, I've been using, you guys are gonna be killing me if you know that I'm a graphic designer, but lately I've been using Canva just by uh, let's say just fulfilled some freelancer works that actually does not require like a lot of work and um, For let's say if I, I if I want to uh, create some post for social media like for Instagram like for Facebook like for TikTok, I mean Canva It's really a lifesaver to do your work in a very most faster ways but uh, here into elements from Canva Cause there's a lot of stuff that you can look for you can look for photos you can look for videos and stuff but uh, I believe that we as a graphic designers we want to have like our own version of stuff so I want to have like a whale and an astronaut and I don't I think that it's pretty hard to look for that whale and astronaut astronaut and so the computer does not have like uh, Canva does not have like a lot of stuff here. I mean what I can do what I can try to do is like to do that into in, Into Canva, right? So I, I can choose let's say for example like get this uh, This wheel and I can choose like this guy and I can try to make like this guy writing, but why not using? Why not to try to using Metjoni? Metjoni is going to try to create uh, more it's of course using artificial intelligence to create our ideas to our text descriptions into realistic stuff so that's what I did here into into discord I mean inside discord I do have the map journey and I asked the computer let's say let's create a, a cat a royal cat riding a unicorn and boom this is what we just have here so um, this is how I can implement this into my graphic designs in order to have like more accurate uh, ideas and of course this is not like cheating of course not cheating this is just to make your stuff to look a little bit more professional so this is something that I'm creating for a client this says my portfolio artworks on the 2023 so this guy what he wants to do is just to add a few images that looks a lot like their illustrations so uh, what I just did here is try to look like the most accurate images that they do have but since this guy does not have like a lot of tools I decided to create them their own so speaking about fantasy speaking about the realistic stuff and um, let's say like the more realistic painting uh, this is why I choose this option to create my own stuff so uh, whether you want to choose Photoshop you're using GIMP um, there are a lot of tools that you can use to as a graphic designer But I think like one of the best options that for us can be really really helpful is can be Metjoni So here into Metjoni you don't even have to start from scratch. I mean you can add more stuff for example let's say that I do have a model and One model I want to implement that I want to change that from one uh, from one idea into another one so let me just rephrase that. For example, I do have. I'm gonna go into my Metjoni. I'm gonna get into the AI artworks, and here what I want to do is to implement the plus button, and I want to choose upload a file. I'm gonna hit into desktop, and I'm gonna look for my models. So as you can see, we do have different images. I want to choose my model. Let's say this guy, and hit into open. So I'm going to upload this image. Really, really simple, guys. Now, what I want to do is to try to make the computer to use this model to to create another idea based on his face and the look of his hair and all that, and even the the way that he actually looks. So what I want to do is to open any tab, and here we do have Google by default. And now, what I do want to do, what I want to find. Let's say I want to look for something like soldier like this or I'm gonna hit into horror uh, movie background like that. So I'm gonna open a new tab into images like that. And here as you can see, we do have a lot of stuff. Let's say that this one actually 
is the style that I want to implement into my model. So what I want to do is to look for more accurate images based on what I'm looking for. So I want to make the computer to use these features and merge that into my model. So I'm going to hit into save and to of course the same um, the same folder. I'm going to go back into my Discord and I'm going to import my image, the second image. So now what I want to do is to hit into slash forward imagine. I'm going to hit into my first image. I'm going to hit into copy image address. I'm going to paste the address inside here. And I'm going to hit space. I'm going to select my second image. Copy image address once again. I'm going to paste the image here. So I need just to hit enter. What the computer is going to be doing is to implement this image in here. And it's going to be creating like another character based on my model. So me as a graphic designer, what I can choose is to, um, let's say, to pack the stuff that I kind of like. And then I can edit that later. Uh, whether that will be into, um, into Photoshop, here into Canva or whatever. Uh, designer tool that you use for implementing here stuff. So you just wait, wait a couple of seconds here. You don't have to worry about all of these features. You can see this one um, is doing their work. I'm just going to hit into OK. I'm going to hit into install. I'm going to leave it like that and go back into this code. So for my taste of good, I think like the computer did something like this. So what I can do is to let's say I want to use the third option because this one looks a little bit like my character here and what I want to do is like delete all of these files and I want to implement that into Photoshop or even into Canva so I can delete that and I can just take the good parts and, or I can even download all the images and I want to just like merge all of my stuff. This is why we can implement our stuff here. Or you can just ask the computer, let's say, for example, I'm going to hit fast forward. Imagine I'm going to hit into my model. I'm going to paste this one and I'm going to make make this guy look like like a zombie. So I can take whatever image I wanted to. I think like the most accurate one is like the third option. So here you can see this is my model. I can choose the third option and I can choose to upscale the number three. This is how we can implement um, Metzioni into our work. So what I can do is to take this model, download out that and use that, implement that into my templates. So I can just have like more improvised stuff and I don't have to look for stock images. I have my own stock images. And the best part is that we don't have to pay like a license. There's no copyright. There's absolutely nothing to worry about because this was, was generated and created by and for us. So with that being said, guys, we are now actually good to work here in the Met Journey. Hopefully this was very useful for you. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to check it out more shows about the Met Journey. As you can see, this is a lifesaver to look for some stock uh, here. So thank you once again for watching the video, guys. I'll see you on the next one. See you soon.